Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so, we're just gonna continue from where we left off, just after killing the, uh... I'm just gonna clear up a little bit of this. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just, I have to clean it up. Every time I see some, some gray on my screen, I gotta clean it up. But, um... And this is usually how you can find little hearts, but juices and stuff off to the side too. Some light cures and whatever, or chests like here. Now I'm not going to save scum this chest because I don't need to. Go with talisman, okay? Wonder what that does. Ooh, that just made me average. That's no bueno. What does it actually do? Oh well, I can get rid of this stuff. That's so heavy, but you don't want to give it to your, yeah, you don't want to give it to your pawns because it's curative and really powerful to add that. Okay. I could actually probably use that. But I do want to be light. How heavy is this 1.09? Golly. All right, here's what we'll do. Go all the way to stone stomach. That's plenty of weight. And now that I have, uh, you didn't see at the end of the last episode, if you did watch all the way through, thank you. But I have all three tiers now, right? So with all three tiers, that means my uh, weight stone drop rate is going to be way higher. Alright, we're going to head on out. We got some stuff to pick up. We're, next uh, chamber is actually, so this is the 10th chamber. The 11th chamber is the next one that we need to go to. That's the chamber of estrangement. Should have killed everything on the way here, so it shouldn't be any issue. I just not feel that much faster than running. I guess that's the nice thing about being a, uh, a max height character is. So the Chamber of Restrangement, I think you can grab just by jumping off the slip here. I'm sure you can grab it from the top side, but... Ooh. Free money. Let's get money. I got plenty. Uh, where's Restrangement at? Is that it right there? Let's see. Hoping for the best. I once somebody saw somebody in a uh, Reddit. Yeah, there we go. Reddit say that uh, <laughs> he didn't know you could grab the ledge, so he just kept crashing into it face first. Which crashing into it face first is faster. Don't get me wrong, but it's just funny that uh. Uh, a save uh, before these things spawn in. What does a strange man have inside of it? I know there's a uh, there's a there's a few things I need from a strange man. The boss I don't really care about. I could just get wake stones from it, so I could buy stuff. But um, there's a longbow vendor here. That I need to buy a longbow from. And then there's also that sucks. I no longer have suasion. I need to go get back and get suasion back. There's also um, a list here that I need to get some drops from. So I do care about the boss a little bit because it's my chance to fight a list. And then um, there's a chest here with holy kuises in it. I need to save some of that. So this is actually there's a lot going on here that we. Okay, here. That's the right one. Yeah, that's definitely the push. Oh, gosh. Got one. Oh 
am I? Oh, I'm blind. Okay, so do I have something for blindness? Not immediately handy. I can use a monk's parry app. Yeah, let's do that. Monk's parry app works just like kind of like a healing spring. It gives you uh, what you call it. All right, that's done. That looks dangerous. Fall out of sky already, dang. Oh, chill. No. All right. Now, it, if you're having issues, nice. Let's nice see the sorcerers doing what they gotta do. Look kind of concerned over there. So Ranger's kind of just straight up the best. Um. Stop it. Move! <laughs> he thought. He thought. There you go. Y'all both get that off. There you go. Look at you. Oh, I thought that was a drop. Nice amulet we got there. Be a shame if someone were to send it to the shadow room. All right, let's get to his body real quick. Um, I'm not worried about this chest, right? I don't think I'm worried about this chest. There should be more than one room, I think. Hopefully there's more than one room. Yeah. This chest is the one I'm worried about. Cool. Who's using a liquid veil? Okay, you had a liquid veil. That's good. Lucky is the pawn able to fight the arisen side. I am thankful. Alicia. All right. Did I, did I clean this up all the way? Almost. Uh, over here. I left something. And that's why I always tell people to carry Monk's Parry apps when they can, because it can fix literally any problem you have as far as uh, debilitations go. It doesn't matter what it is. And it's fairly, uh... It's not that expensive, and it's fairly, um... Fairly light.
Okay, so this is a safe zone. Horse bud. I like picking up horse bud just because I have a bad habit of, uh... Well, let's just double check that there's more here. There should be more here, but I just want to double, triple check. Yeah, there's more. Oh, that's the lack. All right. The dying breath, and so this pond lingers. Choose as you will, sir. I could sell stuff, but let's buy stuff first. So first thing I want to do is I want to buy. Yikes! It's not dragons quickening. It's savage fang, right? Um, look at, my strength basically doubles if I just buy this zero star, and this is a three star rusted longbow, if I buy this zero star, alright, let's see if we can sell it, because I don't have suasion boosting me up, so it's going to be kind of, uh, difficult, let's go with special, I think special clue. Or is it other? It's easier to find out from here. It's other. So one, like six. I have seven shards. The full stones are worth way more than shards. My other weak stone attack. I have 10 wake stones and I can't see them. It's gotta be in storage, right? I'm only counting six, so let's have four on me. Oh, I had four on me. That's not quite enough, but we're getting there. Or I could come back with Suasion and try again. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get Suasion and I'm going to come back. Because I can't buy it right now anyway. Alright. Let's open these up. Herbs. Shard. Yeah, I can start combining some of those shards into Wake Stones as well. In order to get more money out of them. But money won't be a problem for me for a while, uh, after a little while. Probably by the end of this episode, since I'll be able to, uh, to get more wake stones using these three tiers that I got. Alright. Um, undead. There you go. Slow down. I just wanna get to know you, but don't turn around. So, this is another chance where you get to use your uh, ranger as a uh, support class, just to slow everything down. And especially <laughs> in the situation where I have all these uh, sorcerers with uh, big spells, yeah. You just kind of support them. Star shard. Okay, we're going to get to our first big safe scum of the Everfall. I think I've got how many safe scums do I need to do? Let's check. Just two. There may be some more saves coming coming up, but I only have two that are like absolutely we will do these save scums. Um, oh, yay. My favorite. I 
Actually, this is probably ineffective. That sucks. Yeah, tenfold is definitely better. And another wake zone. So I told you guys get get those tears. Make your life way easier. Yeah. Money. Money, 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 money. Oh yeah. Money. Oh, multi loops. I don't know how rare those are, but I'll save. I'm I'm not sure if you can buy those or not. I don't even think the molten set is on my on my list of stuff to go grab. Yeah. That's why I made sure that my fighter pawn definitely needed to have a I'll let, I'll let Blee do his thing. Never mind. Feels like I almost made my uh, 10,000 I spent on the secret of metamorphosis back. Alright. Let me just make sure that I have chest number 9 loaded. Sometimes I forget things. It's on the right hand side. It's on the right hand side. Looks like it. Oh. I just want to make sure I'm right in front of the chest one. First try, holy cluises. Oh, let's go, guys. Let's go. First try, holy cluises. I've never had that good of a luck. I've never once had a good luck. That is a 2% drop. That was a 1 in 50 chance of happening. 1 in 50. First try, holy cluises. On top of the molten boots, which I don't know how rare that is, but it, I, I don't think those are that common either. That felt good. That felt really good. Oh my. That felt really good. Really, 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 really good. First try, holy cooses. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and equip those bad boys too. Because I can use them, I think, on this. Where Where are they? Where are my holy cooses? There we go. Gift. So they're only available for non basic vocations. Strength plus two. Oh, because compared to Striker's Greaves. Let's not equip. Striker's Greaves gives strength plus 6. These give strength plus 8 and 7. That's with my, uh, I think it's 7 and 7, but with my uh, buffs, it's 8 and 7. With my uh, 
augments is eight and seven. Let's go! First try, holy coincidence. I'm so happy about that. I've never had that good of luck in this game. Like, last time it took me how many tries to get a 5% drop? Like, I had to kill that worm, like, how many times? <laughs> and then I get the 2% holy coolest drop. Very, very first try. That that feels real good. That feels super good. Like, you... I, I swear, guys, I'm playing on Xbox. There's no way I can cheat. I can't do anything to, to change the game files or anything. This, that was just pure luck. Pure dumb luck. I need to play the lottery. I need to play the lottery today. Like... I need to play the lottery to get actually all everybody oh well I don't want to say that because if you lose your money then I'm I'm responsible. I was like, everybody go play lotto. I was like, oh wait, wait, that's a terrible idea. Don't do that. Um Alright. Chamber of hesitation. Alright, so we need to get some dark on us. Um, so we're gonna go back up to the top actually. Actually I could show you. I could show you something. Uh I don't need to. Cause it just takes longer if I do it that way anyway. Um, doesn't make, doesn't make a difference. Alright, let's go get Suasion. And also, withdraw all of our Wakestone Shards. Have your pick. What will it be today? Other. So weird. Where did I get that forged wakestone shard from? I have no idea. What will it be today? Have your pick. Come up. Give me. Give all the extra weight stones to you. That makes twelve weight stones. Okay. If the Ivor beat at your pig, what will it be? Install all of our crap. Heart spuds are actually becoming very useful. Um. Panacea. I'll just buy a new Monk's Fairy app. It'll be quicker that way. Yes, garden razors will be useful here. They will. No need for starters. No need for leaves. My name is Tiff. that useful against the uh yeah impact's not gonna be that useful against what I'm all against. But then again, do I ever actually use yeah I do that. I do use that a lot. I do not. <clears throat> so that'll be clout for this one. So cloud over impact here. Where the frick is clout? Not 
I keep saying clout. Suasion over impact. There we go. And then over here, um, probably send you. Honestly, everything else is useful, and especially aggression versus the arc hydra. What will it be? To have your come again? Let's go get our priceless artifact. What happens if I talk to you? I was prepared for my life. <laughs> See, I'm sure you'll find out here. I'm sure you'll find out. Do it again. I explained this before, but you can tell the difference between daytime and nighttime because the sky goes from <clears throat> this yellowish green sickly color to blood red at night. And if you catch it during like twilight when it's or uh, <clears throat> sunset or sun sunrise, it'll be like going from one to the other and it looks really weird. Like the sky is half Cute green, half blood red. It's like disgusting and weird and fantastic at the same time. I don't know. <clears throat> it's like this really weird combination of things. Okay, put these away, and then we can go back into the to the same chamber we just came from. Actually, so you don't have to jump into the hole if you don't want to. You can just go down here. <clears throat> it does make things a little bit more difficult because they're not as uh pray yourself for ruling battle. Ruling battle against what gravity. Oh, I forgot to update my uh character. Well I could do that in a second. Just about to sell some stuff. The Kim. Actually Hello. since you're right here anyway. I can sell stuff for you. Well met, Owen. With a dying breath, my mistress bade me stay here. And so this pawn lingers that the meager offer. Wow, there's mad mistresses who are just <laughs> who are just telling people to stay. <laughs> like, yo, I need you to stay here forever. These mistresses are so un uh Yeah, okay. So we can sell quite a few of them for quite a lot of money. We'll do that. That'll be enough to purchase. Uh, you will, I'm ever that'll be enough to purchase what we need. There's Kent's again. But we don't really care about what she's up to. Um, I honestly don't know. I think it's like this, right? Yeah, it's like this. All right. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, oh, missed. Dang it. I just know Lament is number 8, so that's kind of where I get my bearings from, usually. Um, your compass does, doesn't point straight up, by the way. It points a little off to the side, so you just have to keep that in mind. Okay, I missed it again. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Alright. Whenever we see a strange... There's a limit right there. 10, 11. There we go. I know uh, I know Distress is the first one after Limit on the top, and then Estrangement is the second one. So you just have to pay attention to that. Sometimes if you're unlucky, you'll get the uh, the next... I don't know if uh, Strangement has a has another pattern. I think it does though. You get another pattern, so you just have to be careful about that piece. But here we are. 
I am sworn to my fault. Choose as you will, sir. Now we can go ahead and buy. Oh, look, you can buy some pretty rare stuff here. Savage Fang. Yes, sir. So way different. Way, way different. Alright. Let's see. What's this? 119, 243, 292. It's actually kind of... Yeah. I wish I had the uh, Dragon Forge, the... Uh, Heaven's... Not Heaven's Keys. Um, Divine Razors instead. But... I got these for free, so that's fine. Um, Savage Fang. Choose as you will. I'm at. Then upgrade this. Feeling more and more like an actual ranger as time goes on. Oh, hello. Me, the master works all. Uh, two poison hydrofings. Yikes! I don't even know what I need for the third item. Um, all right, you know what? I'll let it go. We'll, we'll just use that base level. That's fine. We'll be fine. Take off the maker and have your pick. Any? What will it be today? Nope. Nothing. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, another thing I could have bought that I didn't buy that I should have bought, I really should have bought was uh, what will it be today? Actually, I should have bought the Hydra. The Hydra husk. I didn't think about it. Let me see if that's still an option. I don't think it is. I don't think I have that kind of money. I think I probably like have like a hundred left. I'm sure you'll find all you need. Oh, that's three forty. Okay. Let me see if it's possible. I do have enough money for it. More than enough. Make sure I haven't already bought it. Yeah, I haven't. Why is the Saurian paint more expensive? <laughs> Honestly I want both. I really do want both, but uh, I have no idea why Saurian Band is more expensive than Hydra Husk. But we'll take it. No, not right now. We'll swap. We'll swap before we I'm go sure inside. Any. I don't think I have enough snakeskin to upgrade it to two star, unfortunately. If you, the master works all. I do have a little bit more than enough. Two star. Perfect. You ready? And then last stop. Last stop will be uh, Castrodus. All right. Ready to take on this. Uh, getting ready to take on this here. Uh, 
太绝了。What else do I need from、um, hesitation? Chest number three for Dark Lorica. Okay. It's in the same room as the boss, I think. As you will. What can I do to take care? Oh, glad I didn't accidentally hit nobody. Just give me two this time. <laughs> Any rep, right? It's super easy to forget to restock if you don't have. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's fine now. I'll be an idiot today. <laughs> I forgot to buy tags instead of those. Instead of parry apps, but we'll live. <gasps> All right. Take a look at the mate and have your pick. Any you like, or will it under? We just rest here. So it's quicker to actually run up this hill and then jump into the Everfall than it is to run and then it is to go through the save screen, the the load screen, and then do it again. I think I might be wrong about that, but I think it's faster. I'm sure you'll find all. I'm sure you'll find any. All right, cool. I just wanted to do that just for that. All right. Actually, I don't know where the chamber of hesitation is. Give me a second.、Um. <laughs> I have to look it up real quick. Which one of these is hesitation? Hesitation is the second one on the left. So probably this one. Oh, almost fell off. Watch this up. You know, for them talking about cadavers falling down, I don't see any corpses randomly falling down a shaft. It's just kind of an implied thing. I wish they did have random corpses sometimes fall down the shaft. Then be like, oh wow. All right, so just like any other Saurians, these are Saurian sages, by the way. Oh, I missed. But yeah, just like any other Saurian, your goal here is to. Cut the tail off. Oh yeah, there's some up here too. I was like, some, one of my six senses is telling me to check that wall. There we go. Tail off. Wait, how did you die? How? You are trash if you get killed that quickly. Dang it! All 
Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I have to come back here. Yeah, that's why my stuff is going super slow. I'm going to finish this little group off and then come back. Her pure crystal. Nice. Stop it! No. Stop with your holy bullets. <laughs> oh, they give each other spell screen. I didn't know that. There we go. So, that took way longer than it should have, and that's because I don't have dark with me, and I need to be using a lot of dark right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's go back to Grand Sword real quick. Because these guys are weak to dark. They use holy, they're weak to dark. Makes sense, right? Just like the dragon. That's your pick. In you, what will it be today? Alright, so we'll get rid of Levin. Yeah, we'll get rid of Levin for Dark Affinity. Actually, no, we'll just get rid of Holy Affinity for Dark Affinity. And then we'll also use, um, I want to say Maelstrom. I want to say it would take Maelstrom to hit hard enough. But Necromancy is probably more. What will it be to have your pick? Come on. More reasonable for most applications. <laughs> All right. So I want to get it to as far west as possible, which means I'm jumping off of this edge right here. Oh, gosh, I can't tell where I'm at. Here we are. Alright, I think that's four. I might be wrong. Yeah, cool. Just barely managed to reach it. So you can see one on the wall there. Did I get the tail off? Don't look like it.
There you go. Use darkness. Darkness works. It's damn enough, like a hundred percent. Nice. Um, we're just going in like this. I'll just swap out my weapon. So, squad razor. Scalding razors against the uh Well, we'll see which works better. Let's see how good Hydra Husk is. if I upgrade a little bit. Nope. That isn't good either. What is going on with you? Make sure you dodge roll those. me on damn I got number one and number four off. I don't know which the one is the one I cut off the first time. It's either number three or number two. Uh. Let's go. Alright. So here's where we do what we gotta do.
Get all that damage in real quick. Right on the neck. There you go. That's half your that's half your health. Yeah. As long as you're somewhat. Smart about how you do it. Oh my gosh. I need stamina. I don't want to use those, actually. Yeah, I'll just use this. Let me on. You mind? Gosh. Wow. I'm so slow at killing. Yeah, there we go. That's not where the freaking chest is. That would kind of suck. <laughs> it might be right there. Uh, let's see where chest number three is. literally right here oh gosh that puts me in such a bad space because now I can't no all right go away you too I'm trying to pick up these items before I save no <laughs> sometimes you just got to run interference you know what I mean do it for you All right, let's just save here. <laughs> Worst case scenario. I forgot how to throw for a second. Oh, Wakestone Shard. That's what I almost... That's what I almost got. That's what I almost ended up with. Oh, Wakestone Shard. Oh, that was close. Alright, <laughs> let's see if we're on the box <laughs> in front of the box now. Yikes. Come on. Dark Lorica for me. By the way, guys, I'm hoping this doesn't end up taking over the whole rest of the stream, but there's a there is a non-zero chance that occurs because this is another 2% drop. 
I just got extraordinarily lucky on the first Holy Coolest drop. So. Fae Whisper. I think Fae Whisper is a what? That's a short bow, right? So the reason I don't advise uh, farming weapons down here, especially like weapons that you can buy, is because if you farm them, the drop rates are so low that it's literally faster to farm wakestone drops from bosses than it is to farm like weapons and stuff that you can get otherwise. So you should restrict your farming to um, things that you can't buy. Then after this, sultry cow. So the, I guess you can get the sultry set pieces even if you don't during your first playthrough. Even if you didn't give uh, Madeline the uh, the golden idol. Maybe I haven't seen the sultry pareo drop. Alright, so I need to start looking for an armor set for my... I think it's just going to end up being the dark set, right? Either that or the golden lion set. a pretty decent set from uh, from Chase. Just gotta give him four hearts by Juices. Twilight set, you have to farm in BBI's upper stratum. So the reason why you would farm the Twilight set in uh, BBI instead of here is because the drop rates in the Everfall are stupidly bad. Remember, I'm talking about 2% drop rates. And in Bit of Black, they're like either 5% or 10%, I forgot what. But they're a lot better. They're a lot, lot better. You can literally sit here in BBI, try, not BBI, in, in the Everfall, trying to farm something for two hours straight. Generally, I tend to get a. Uh, oh, I tend to get everything I need within uh, 20 minutes. But, um, here's what I should be doing. So. On three, I gotta go neg. I'm looking at the pulsation of the. Uh, what I'm about to do is throw throw my pawns away real quick so that I can focus. Yeah, I'm about to do that. Throw my pawns away so I can focus. I like to use the pulsation method. Um,
There you go. <laughs> that should be better. Um, my main pawn is an Inquisitor, so that makes my life a little bit harder. But it looks like she's far away. Nope. So, the way I used to do it is, and the way I still do it, honestly, is I just rely on the pulsation of the, of the box itself. And then every time the box pulses, I try it. So that's second pulse here. All right, so that's a common drop as far as I'm concerned. I keep accidentally hitting the uh, <laughs> the screenshot button if you keep hearing that pop up. But um, first pulse, second pulse. I keep trying on pulses until I find out what the rare drop for that pulse is. And once I find a rare drop for that pulse, I move to a new, to the next pulse. And I, I can't say that it's a science. I do think it does influence the random number generator a little bit. Maybe it just as a, as a placebo effect and it makes me feel better. Like first pulse, what's the drop on first pulse? Alright, that's a common drop. It feels like each pulse has a different rare drop assigned to it. So whenever you don't get the rare drop you want from that pulse, you just move to the next pulse. Again, complete theory. I've but I swear by it, it feels like I get everything I need within 20 minutes of that method, of this method. So, I'm going to try it out on this. First pulse. I guess I should buy the Archer set. I have so many screenshots from just me staring at things, trying to I don't think first pulse might have anything assigned to it. I might need to move on to second pulse. We'll see though. We'll keep trying. Oh, give me some luck. Yeah, I'm totally going to have to drop a, uh, hey, this is when I got the item in the, <laughs> in the comments. I'm definitely going to have to do that.
for this for this run. So uh, go ahead and go ahead and look for that if you haven't already seen it. Because I'm just gonna stick to this until until we get it. Gosh, it feels like I'm going backwards. Shards now. This is so miserable. <laughs> Just waiting for this item to drop. Come on. All right, I'm move on to second post because I don't feel I don't feel love for first post. I feel it. By the way, I'm talking about box pulses, not button pulses. Although I was thinking about trying out button pulses as well. But I'm really talking about box pulses. Sotri Cow again. I think Sotri Cow is the rare drop for because that's the second time I've gotten that. But I think Fate Whisper was also a rare drop for that, uh, for that pulse. So it might be, maybe. I'll I'll keep trying second pulse. We'll see. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I almost want to just take it and run. Uh. Because I'm pretty sure the Barbarian Chief's Helm is... You have to farm that, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I might have to just take it and run. I might just have to. Where's Barbarian set? Let me let me see. How do you get the Barbarian Chief Helm? Oh, you can get it in Reward of Regret. <laughs> Man, it hurts so bad. I really do want to just take this and run. It's plus 10 strength. And you can equip it to what? Just a warrior and mystic knight. Uh, I do want to just take it and run. Where's water regret again? Water regret is... Oh, it's in the upper stratum. I, I could I could do that. Oh man, this hurts so bad. Yeah, let's keep let's keep going for let's keep going for Dark Lorica. I'm gonna stay on second post because it seems like I'm getting some good luck on second post though. So. I am getting some good luck on second post. So we're gonna stay on second post. You know, knock on wood. Keep this up. Let's try to make it work. I mean <laughs> Knock on uh, whatever that is. Number two. Go on talisman. Nope. Why does it feel like Tef is an inquisitor? Because he keeps on grabbing stuff. Hmm. Oh man, one, okay, two, let's go, maybe, maybe, no.
I shouldn't have said anything about my luck. <laughs> look at look at me. Shards. Right now. Uh I shouldn't have said nothing about my luck, guys. I'm going through it. <laughs> I'm going through it. I got a couple. I, I'm pretty sure that Barbarian Chief's Home is a 2% drop. Um, oh, my gosh. Waste some shard. Just give me what I want. Bruh, that's three in a row. <laughs> I jinxed myself so bad. That's terrible. Wrong bud. All right, I might have to move on to post three. Post two ain't doing it no more. I try number two again just to see. Yeah, number two's dead. Number two's dead. Keep trying it, but it's definitely dead. Maybe number one will give me some luck now. Nah, that's that's just going backwards. Let's just go to number three.
Yep, I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get it. This game is like the ultimate self-ending simulator. They say it's never the answer except when you're trying to farm something. <laughs> it's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. But no, actually it's a, well, in Dragon's Dogma, since you get to hit the retry button, it's uh. It's a solution to a farming problem, really. Eventually I just go brain dead and I stop counting. I'm just hoping for something good to drop out of this stupid box. You can tell that I think this was supposed to be some type of MMO or something because this makes zero sense for this kind of rare box drop to exist in a single player RPG. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Honestly, differing rarities of drops doesn't make sense in single-player RPGs. It really just doesn't, unless they're trying to get you immersed with the online mode. This doesn't make sense. Well, 
Like, what does this gain the player or the developer? Nothing. Especially to have such an insanely low drop rate. Absolutely nothing. And even if this was an online game and you only had one shot at every drop, to have the drop rate be 2% or lower would be ridiculous. Like, it should at least be at BBI levels where it's like 5%. Where, you know, there's a good reasonable chance of you getting the drop. You know, you run this with your friends 10 times, you, you'll probably end up with it, maybe. 10, 20 times, 30 times, 40 times. But for this drop to be this rare, and... I mean, it's not even that great of a drop. It's a good drop. The Dark Lorica is a great... It's a great piece of armor for this point in the game. I would say it's probably... Gosh, in line with the... Uh, Ooh, with the BBI level 1 gear. Which BBI level 1 gear is pretty good. Obviously not like in-game gear, but... <laughs> Still pretty strong.
Gosh, me and the sultry cow. It's almost... It's ridiculous. I'm not even playing a female character. Yet. I will do, uh... I will do a bit of female pl character playing in order to, uh, what you call it, max out the Berserk in set. And probably a Sultry set as well. It'll be a great thing to do next time I play a uh, Sorcerer. Wrap both of those up into one playthrough. Go telescope. Thought I could just do it when I when I hit level two hundred E two. That'd be fun. I hope this isn't, isn't going to be one of those legendary two-hour farms. Because I think we're already over the 20-minute mark for this particular farm. And then 20 minutes is usually my, like... That's my average for a bad farm. It's about 20 minutes. I think I might move on to number four, but... My pawns will probably catch up to the box before I can consistently do number four, so... 
also haven't seen a rare drop on number one yet, I don't think. So, I might need to go back to number one and try that out some more. Yeah, look, he's going to pop that box. On number three. Getting number four consistently is going to be hard. Alright, what I'm going to do, hold up, I have an idea. I'm figuring out, like, I think these first three to four pulses aren't going to work, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance the box in order to do that. No. There. I think that was a few pulses. So that was pretty much the goal there was to uh <laughs> throw the bonds away so that uh I can get more pulses. I I can try different pulses cuz I don't think that item's dropping on this pulse. It might have dropped, but... Yeah. Looks like this pawn's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I should've threw him away, too. Actually, you know what would be easiest? What if I throw all my pawns pretty far away? Because I should have time to do that now. I didn't have time. Oh. I didn't have time to do it when um the Hydra was dying, but I do have time to just throw them all really far away right now. And then just run back up to the box before, before they... Yeah, look, he he was gunning straight for the box. All right, I got an idea. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start chucking them super far away. That gives me some more time where I don't have to think too hard about what my pawns are up to. Like, what's the pawn doing? Yeah, all y'all. You too. You too. All 
All right, cool. You got him far away from the box. Dang. They they take off with you. That should work. Whoa, whoa, how are you that how are you that close behind me? I hope they're I hope they weren't that close behind me, like Dang. Well, at least only the yellow or the fighter is close. I don't think the fighter is a inquisitor. Uh, Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Sultry cow, stop it! I don't want you. One nope. box open. the greatest content ever waiting for one s subpar item to drop out of a box Oh, I finally made that mistake. But I said to myself, I'm surprised I haven't made that mistake yet. <laughs>
Guys, does the straw have one or two holes? I would say it has one hole. Although, depending on... It, it really depends on your definition of a hole, doesn't it? Because to me, one long hole with two exits with two entrances is one hole. Or I guess you could call it a tunnel with two holes at each side. Like, is a tunnel... Alright, so think about a mountain. If you have a, a mountain tunnel, right? And one side of it is a hole, and the other side of it is also a hole... Right? There's a hole in the mountain. Okay, here, here's why I think it is. If you can see both the entrance and the exit at the same time, then it's one hole. But if you can't see the entrance and the exit at the same time, then it's two holes with a tunnel. I think that's what it really comes down to. Like, that's what feels right to me. So, that put that way, then a straw has two holes connected by a tunnel. Because if you're thinking about like a giant natural arc way where it has, again, it's a tunnel technically, but it's an arc way because it's so short that it's basically an arc. But on the front side of it, and you can, you can literally walk through it in five seconds. So you don't feel like it's two holes because the entrance and the exit is basically almost the same thing. And let's say you stretch it out and you make it 20 feet long. All right. So it's a 20 foot long tunnel. But you can see both sides. So it feels like it's one hole. All right. Now let's make it 200 feet long and add some curves to it so you can't see both sides and now it feels like instead of just one hole it's a it's a real tunnel even though the actual mechanics doesn't really change that much when you think about it it's still just an opening on one end and opening on the other end and it feels like it's you know I don't know it feels like it's different though it feels like you have one hole on one side and one hole on the other side even though it's still all connected just like the arcway and just like the short let's call it bridge over the water that's only 20 feet long a tunnel that's 200 feet long is still I mean basically the same thing it's just that you can no longer see the exit from the entrance and therefore it feels like you have two different holes I, that's how it feels to me. That's what I think the answer to that question is. You guys tell me how you what you guys think. Does a straw have one hole or two holes? Please just give me the Dark Lorica already. Come on now. This box is killing me. Y'all yeah, might be super upset if that isn't even the right box. Let me let me triple check. To make sure that's the right box. If that's not the right box, I'm about to be so sad. Wasting all this time on a box that doesn't even really exist. There's only one box in this chamber. It has to be the right box. I've literally got every option except for the Dark Lorica. Including the Fae Whisper multiple times. And that's got to be a 2% drop. Oh my gosh.
I feel like I should have taken that Barbarian Chief's Helm and just reset for seven days as well. And then just, you know, fought the Archydra all over again. Because I don't really lose anything for fighting them all over again. So especially after selling the, the Wake Stones that I got. I, and I do want to kind of redo the, uh... Yeah, if I get the, um... If I get the Barbarian Chiefs home again before I get the uh, the Dark Lorica, I'll what you call it. Golly, if if I get the Barbarian Chiefs home before I get the Dark Lorica, I'll um, I'll take it. I'll run with it, and I'll reset the Archive fight. How long have I been doing this? 109 minutes. I swear it has not. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Come on, give me something. Not a golden talisman. Yeah, I kind of anticipated the Everfall portion of this run being the worst part of this walkthrough. Like, this particular farming is just terrible. It's tragically bad. <clears throat> it's not as dynamic as farming for, like, BBI level 2 and 3 stuff. Like, this is way worse than farming for BBI level 2 and 3 stuff. Like, BBI farming is actually kind of fun. Except for the part where you're farming boxes inside of uh, Fallen city even fallen city box <gasps> let's go let's go baby oh my gosh i have no i have no idea how long that took that had to take at least 45 minutes of farming to get this oh let's go i think that's 110 minutes right 110 minutes into this video and i don't think it took that long let me grab that before it disappears on me dark lorica finally Finally, finally got it. Um, yeah, so it's it's impressive. It, it increases your stats by a good bit. Look at that. Blindness. It's torpor. Skill stifling goes down, though. I'm about to say, like, wait, I don't lose strength by doing that? Um, so it's only available for Assassin and, uh, and Ranger. Which is fine because I can wear it for like the foreseeable future. You'll go with this for now. Finally, guys. Woo. Okay. Guys, I, if you actually stuck through that entire farm with me, I apologize. Um. If you just use the link in the video to skip straight to here. Just look at how much time this took. Yeah. Yeah. And understand that there's way more items down here in the Everfall that you can farm. I just wanted to get the two that I got today. Uh, which were... Um, Dark Lorica and... Holy Kuasis. <sighs> okay. What's actually next? I might end up ending this particular... Uh, video right now. I'm just so happy to have Dark Lorica. You have you have no idea. I might go and set up a checkpoint just to just to you know tap that in, make it permanent. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this permanent real quick. Let me make this permanent. Stack that cheese. Stack that cheese. But yeah, like I was saying, the BBI, uh, there are some pretty bad BBI boxes. But they're not that bad. Like, I think the worst boxes in BBI are like uh, the pre Daimon um, weapon level, what was it, two or three? I think it's the weapon level three box. That's pre Daimon in the Fallen City. That's really bad. And you only get one shot at it for the entire pre diamond portion because obviously once you beat Diamond, it goes away. And it, also the Fallen City doesn't reset after you open it once. Like all those boxes just stay where, where they are. So you're kind of just screwed. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. 
Um, I do want to go back down there and kill that Hydra one more time. Yeah. What does it take to upgrade Savage Fang? I guess is the question that I really have. Let me go find out. What will it be today? Have your pick, come Um, let's go ahead and tap this in. Checkpoint. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not accidentally losing this for any reason. <laughs> Gosh. Uh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me go back to stage seven. Okay, so the only other thing I have left to do, realistically, before ending this portion and moving on to BBI, to Big Black Island, is uh, getting my full, well, number one, getting more money, but number two, uh, clearing the offline chamber limit, which would give me a lot more money. Um, before I do that, I do want to try to upgrade this boat. Let's see if we can. Oh, not this bow in particular. Actually, I don't even care about this bow that much. It's this bow. Savage Fang. There we go. Enhance. Savage Fang. What do you need to upgrade Savage Fang? What is going on here? Let's go. Let's find out. Savage. Great Dragon Fang. Is that an Ur Dragon drop? Yeah, it is. Okay, so the Poison Hydra Fang is as good as you can get. Okay. What about the Hydra Husk? The Hydra Husk is eight Poison Dragon Fangs. Do I think I'm more likely to get the... I think I'm more likely to get the, uh, <sighs> what's the quickest way to kill a Hydra? Is it by using Scalding Razors or is it by using Hydra Husk? It's probably by using Hydra Husk with, uh, with fire, uh, what you call it, with fire, uh, enchantment would do it the fastest. Fire affinity. Only thing is, what's the probability of realistically, what is the probability of dragon forging? Dragon forging. Six percent probability of dragon forging a two star weapon if you're doing it against um if you're doing it against a low level enemy. Yeah, I might end up doing this against the Cur the Cursed Dragon has a sixty five percent chance. Might end up doing it against the Cursed Dragon. Cause I don't really need to farm Arc Arc Hydras right now. Yeah, I don't. I just need money. Mm -hmm. This could be sold for a good bit of money. Where's the other at? We'll go to equipment. We'll sell one more of those. Am I still come again? 
and oh, we can upgrade it while we're here. Enhance, Savage Fang to two star. All right. Um, what's our money look like? 179. I'm gonna need some more money <laughs> again. Um, because I'm about to lose more money again. Is it faster to go this way? No, it can't be faster to go this way. That was a dumb idea. I've been playing for so long for this episode, I have no idea if I actually gained a level. I don't think so. Checking. Yeah, I did. If there is aught I can do, for now my course is up. Sir, I would take you. I was just dumbly thinking, is it faster to go to BBI and then into Castridis? No, there's no way it's faster. I wish the, the stones for Castridis were actually inside of Castridis, though. I don't ever need you, Celine. You're never worth my time. Oh yeah, Sovereign Wine is actually really good too. That's what I should be using instead of what you call it. Instead of Monk's Perry apps, but I, it's kind of just one of those I don't really need a. Uh, All that money gone, and all that weight gone, too. I need to get rid of some encumbrance. It'd also, it'd help if I had halfway decent dagger on me. <clears throat> she always be saying hello like she wanted, but she don't want it. Chamber of Remorse. Uh, so if we want a good dagger, we need to go down to the Chamber of Remorse. And that's going to be important because Chamber of Remorse um, is number six. So it's the second one on top. The Chamber of Remorse is... Um, good news. Madness. It's evil worth that more. Not even one as powerful as yourself is capable of sucking. What can I do you for? As you will. There you go. I'm not really super worried about that. You get plenty of curatives down there. As long as you're not like... Playing very stupidly, you'll be fine. Um, the bosses in chess and ever fall respond every thirty hours. So, what can I do you for? You seem tired, cousin. Come rest. So be one. <laughs> Two. Yeah, but you, what can I do you for? Take care now. Well, actually, it's quicker to do this. I'm going to get those prices artifacts out while I do this. So that was one day. Those. 
Quicker to warp. That's the one thing I do like about a uh, post dragon grand sword is number one, mountain bonk is a lot closer to you for forgeries, and then number two, warping is faster than running now. So you can just go back. What will it be today? Not your pick. What will it be to day number two? A bit more expensive, but again, money is not going to be a problem in the in the near future. As soon as I can beat the chamber limit once, or we won't have money problems anymore. And I think. See, I'm sure you'll find out. Here we are. A perfect. I'm sure. So that's number five. Leave it with me a while. Now we need a six. You a forgery victim. And the sixth one is just safety. I'll not be. I'm sure you'll find all you need. Any. <laughs> Tis my duty to share this journey with you, and an honor besides. The makers. And at your pick, what will it be today? What will it be today? What will it be today? At your pick, any you like. Um, so, what is in the Chamber of Remorse? Uh, we can't go to Remorse yet because we don't have enough money. I want to go back to um, estrangement then. No, not estrangement. Hesitation. Hesitation is number two on the left, right? What will it be so, today? Understood. This is day three. I'm sure you'll find out here. I'm sure you'll find any. I don't need to forge anything else. Now, let's see how this works. I have two in my inventory and four in cats. Let's see how this works. Give him five. Okay, so it took more out of her inventory than mine. That's interesting. I didn't know it would do that. Oh yeah, you can't give them special weapons. Okay, I guess you can't give them price artifacts either. Whatever. Okay, now we can go down. Going down, down, baby, we going down. Should we go down swing it? Um. So the only quest I have left as far as notice boards go is um Number four. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna do a new episode for starting this up. So, until, like always, peace and chicken grease. I've been me, you've been awesome. And we'll be back again with another Archive fight. And that was just gonna be for, for the heck of it, for fun. Um, leveling up a little bit. And, um, 
after that we'll we'll just be grinding money really in order to get uh more powerful stuff so that we can kill the uh, Ur dragon because the sooner we kill Erdi the better because that's where all the real money is or dragon or dragon farming so yeah like always peace and chicken grease guys appreciate you watching and peace